learning new information about this Russian meteor. Watch as that meteor suddenly appears in this dash cam video streaking across the sky, and then the bang. That sonic boom breaking windows, small pieces of meteorite damaging buildings and falling into fields and lakes. Russian officials say as many as 1,100 people were injured, many by flying glass as they ran to windows to see what caused that flash of light. That meteorite struck near the Russian town of Chelyabinsk in the south central part of the country in the southern Ural Mountains. 7 News reporter Amanda Cost is tracking the impact. And Amanda, these images really didn't seem real at first. Yeah, videos are all over YouTube. So incredible. Many thought it was a hoax, fake, but even the scientific community is buzzing about what happened. A bright light streaking across the Russian sky with a boom to match. You get a sonic boom whenever you go faster than the speed of sound. When the meteorite entered the atmosphere, it was probably going fast enough to go from Boulder to Denver in about one or two seconds. We asked Dr. Doug Duncan, an astronomer at the University of Colorado Boulder, about the meteor. He says it was that sonic boom that caused glass to shatter, injuring about a thousand people, not the meteor itself. It probably broke up 20 or 30 miles up there in space. If we're lucky, a few of the pieces will be left over and they'll fall down to the ground. The task now, to find what's left of the meteorite, the parts of the meteor that actually made it down to Earth. These rocks are, are so valuable because there's nothing as old as this on the Earth. Every meteorite we get our hands on helps us understand how the planet Earth formed, and that's very exciting. Dr. Duncan estimates this weighed 10 tons. If we see how much energy was released and how many windows broke and everything, we can calculate back to how big a rock it must have been. But even at 10 tons, it's still too small to detect before it reaches Earth. Dr. Duncan says meteors hit the Earth all the time, just not as big as this. And Dr. Duncan says he only knows of one person who has ever been struck or hit by a meteorite. He said that was back in the 1950s. And he calculates your odds of being struck by lightning, hit by a tornado. He said they're about 100 times higher than being struck by a meteorite. Reporting live, Amanda Cost, 7 News.